Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Men. And in this video, which is part two of our three-part series on workflow optimization, I'm gonna show you how you can use AI to streamline your workflow and find opportunities to increase efficiency, automate repetitive tasks, and save a ton of time. And if you haven't checked it out yet, be sure to check out our free ultimate guide to building a second brain in men. I'll include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the tutorial. So in the previous video, we talked about the importance of documenting your process for workflow optimization. And just to recap, workflow is a combination of tools, information, people, and resources. The tools that you use to complete each task, where the information you need lives for that task, the steps that are necessary to complete for that task, as well as each person who is responsible for each step within that task. So typically, what you'll have is one person who's responsible for one component, another person who's responsible for something else. So for example, when I publish a podcast, I'm responsible for recording the interview. My audio engineer is responsible for editing it and publishing it and setting it up on our platform. And our designer is responsible for doing album covers for each podcast guest. What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you an example of how we can use something like ChatGPT or any sort of AI large language model to streamline the workflow for publishing a blog post. So what I know when I publish a blog post is that I have about eight or nine steps here in this process. Now, keep in mind, I've simplified this process a bit for the sake of this video, and I'm sure there are probably a lot more steps that I didn't note down in here, and there's already a lot of automations built, but I wanna show you what's possible when you get clarity on your workflow in terms of how you can streamline things. So I know that the first thing I have to do is write the blog post, which I do in Mem. I do all my revisions and editing in Mem as well. And then after that, I create a Google Doc and put it in a blog post folder and then create a ClickUp task for my assistant to set it up in a platform called Story Chief, which automatically publishes our blog post to both Medium and the Unmistakable Creative blog. And what she's responsible for is copying the post from Google Docs to Story Chief, adding all the images under the various headers, you're writing up a meta description and title, tagging the images in the keyword, and then setting up a draft of the newsletter in ConvertKit. And one of the nice things is that you can actually get this outputted in a table when you write down each workflow for each task, just like this, just by asking ChatGPT to do it. You can basically copy the workflow and say, please output this in a table, and you'll get something that looks a bit like this. And the great thing is that once you have this, you can actually use AI to ask how to automate this task and see where there might be room for improvements. So in order to do that, I actually had ChatGPT come up with a prompt for us that we can paste into ChatGPT, give it the workflow below, and then it will make recommendations. And you'll see here that I have ChatGPT open in this window. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this prompt into the window and then cut and paste the workflow as well. So I'm gonna just say, this is the prompt and we're gonna go ahead and put it here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the workflow here for publishing a blog post. And I'll let ChatGPT know that this is a workflow for publishing a blog post because it's really important that you communicate clearly. Otherwise you're gonna get gibberish as a result. And now what we'll see is that ChatGPT will come back and make recommendations on how we might outline this. So you can see here, it's actually already suggesting that we do a bunch of different things. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just cut and paste this suggestion that we got from ChatGPT into Mem so we can go through it. And what you'll see here is that immediately we get some significant improvements in terms of the potential workflow that we've got here. So I'm gonna copy it from here. Let's go ahead and see what this new workflow looks like. And you'll see here that it's a pretty detailed overview in terms of all the things that you could do. So in this case, it recommends things like Grammarly, which I'm not crazy about, but you can see here that it gives you different tools for every single tasks. It basically is saying, oh, you know what, rather than having the virtual assistant do some of this stuff, you know, we can have AI actually do all of this stuff. So for example, believe it or not, a lot of this is already stuff that's integrated into our workflow. So for example, I don't actually 
create a ClickUp task for my assistant. Every time we put the Google Doc inside of the folder, it automatically gets done through a Zapier automation. Now that we have this workflow, the great thing about all of this is that we'll even give you a step-by-step -step guide and you can actually have it expand the step-by-step -step guide and basically say, okay, write a detailed overview of every single step for each person in the process and the tools that they will use. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And as you can see here, it basically will tell us exactly what each person is going to do and what their responsibilities will be in this entire process. And if we wanted to, we could have this all outputted in a table. I'm not gonna do that just for the sake of this video, but we're gonna go ahead and copy it again into Mem. And so in a matter of about a few minutes, just by writing down the process for whatever task it is that you're trying to complete regularly and actually explaining your workflow to a tool like ChatGPT, you have this opportunity to streamline your workflow because the moment that you document the process for a task and you identify the steps, the information, the process and the people, you will start to notice that there are significant bottlenecks. And the other way to do this, if you don't want to just write them down, that's actually very useful is to put it in a mind map, because when you see it visually, you're actually going to notice things that you could change in the process because you see how information flows from one place to another. And one of the keys to effectively streamlining a workflow is to aggregate the flow of information. Ideally, in this case, you're aggregating the flow of information. So almost all of it lives in MEM and you spend as little time outside of MEM as possible. And in the next week's video, what I'll do is go over how we take all of this and we build it into a system for all of our tasks. Because so far we've just looked at individual tasks, but when you put them all together, then you end up building a system that truly allows you to create at the speed of thought. And if you haven't checked out the first video in the series, be sure to check that out. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.